Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexandra Meacham. New legislation at city government looks to grow the economic advantage of North Shreveport. In tonight's top story. During today's city council meeting, Councilwoman Tabitha Taylor authored an ordinance to establish an economic development district in North Shreveport near the new Amazon facility. It would serve as the same purpose as a TIF district, meaning tax increment financing, where certain sales taxes and increments would be used to finance economic development projects within the district boundaries. Taylor says this tax structure would help grow the area along North Market and focus on infrastructure. She says her district is seeing new opportunities and this would continue that growth for years to come. What we want to see is continued growth in that North Market area. I am excited about the growth. I mean, we have um, the substation that is going to be there, the opening of Amazon that is coming in in the morning. There will be the suppliers fair uh, with businesses who are registered. So when you want to do business with Amazon, Businesses who have already registered will meet with Amazon officials tomorrow at Northwest Louisiana Technical College to discuss how they can use Amazon's platform to sell their products. City Council also unanimously passed legislation that requests a new early voting location at the Shreveport Office of Motor Vehicles on Financial Plaza. The resolution is in unison with the Caddo Parish Commission that is asking the Register of Voters to approve this new voting location. The city is looking to lease the old Stageworks building to 50 Cent. An ordinance authorizing the lease of portions of this facility on Clyde Fant Parkway was a late add to today's council agenda. According to the ordinance, Jackson's company, G-Unit Film and Television, would lease the property for 30 years with a 15-year renewal option. Rent would be $2,400 a year, with G-Unit handling the maintenance and upkeep of the facility. The ordinance proposes that G-Unit could operate a sports and entertainment event venue for basketball, volleyball, boxing, MMA, convention shows, and concerts. Council could vote on this by early June.